Like I said in the previous video I made about the legacy project, by the way, if you haven't checked, uh, checked that video out, uh, I'm going to leave it at the end of the video. You can click on it also in the description. Because of the shortcomings that uh, projects like Delta Ventures, Wolf Capital, Green Figures are now facing, I mean have faced and are now facing, aka Green Figures, I could name two projects right now that could capitalize on this and maybe the legacy project once it launches. But some adventures and golden goose are the two runner-ups and let's see if they can keep up and let's see if they actually deliver what they're promising today's video is an update on some adventures now i did post the first one where i explained what they do again a tldr a few technical stuff but this one is more about a few updates and a few releases ever since Now, full disclosure, before we get into this, I just want to say that I did invest into some adventures shortly after I released the first video, but as I normally do, I don't post referral links. If you want to be part of the project, you can go on our community chat, you can ask for mine or anybody else's because I just took somebody's referral link after I asked the chat. So you don't have to use any anyways. But the point is, we don't do that, but if you want to invest, that's your choice, then why not if you want to go that route, of course. Now, before we talk about stats, let's talk a bit about the trading strategies uh, once more, because I did touch base on these in the previous video, but I'd like to, you know, talk a bit more intel on this, because I did notice that uh, on their announcement channel, they've been very reluctant and they've been very detailed about providing lots of info on this. Granted, there's still some that is missing, okay, but at least you know, they're giving uh, a bit of clarity and a bit of background as to how they're going about these things. So just a quick recap. They are using, in general, scalping at the trading method. So if you don't know what that is, I'm going to just say that it's a quick execution of trades. So several trades, small money, medium money, go in, execute quickly, take advantage of the short uh short time frame of the price movements all right so that's basically it so there is a small window price moves quickly and then they take advantage of it but there are several trades so you have to hedge yourself and hence the term hedging that comes in combination with the scalping strategy and that's what they're employing so hedging is basically a more type of risk management strategy meaning if you want to let's say take long positions on certain pairs you also take short positions to offset potential losses now this means surely that profits are going to be hindered but at least you're not you know going into uh, losses territory so at the end of the day if you combine scalping and hedging you end up with an outcome of course conservatively and if you're doing this with a clear head you end up with small profits but consistent profits instead of going big or going home you know that never works out especially since you're dealing with other people's money all right so in my personal opinion this is the best outcome long term and they've been producing the stats to back this up now one thing i will say though is that they still haven't released so much intel in regards to the bots they employ because like i said they have their own they don't have third party bots so they did specify that they will do so in sometime uh, sometime in the future let's wait and see so let's hold them accountable on this statement all right now this is in general what they're doing so they're sharing all of this on their telegram group so if you go right now to the telegram group if you scroll down through the announcements you'll see that they're giving macro factors micro factors and they're discussing how they're going about this and one extra cool thing i'd like to add here is that they are very transparent in regards to closing in their positions putting the tvl back so people can withdraw the money if they wish to do so and that's good i mean they are keeping people you know on the loop there so they're updating them on the get-go if it doesn't happen today they tell them why and they tell them to expect it tomorrow so that's good keep 
keep the transparency alive but again at the end of the day you they i mean not a single project has been fully transparent so far so there's still room to play here so let's see let's jump into the stats real quick so they've been running for 27 weeks they've been returning on average you know per week 4.32 percent all right but that's more than 0.5 percent a day so who does 0.5 percent per uh, a day futures relying on elephant money futures relying on other people's money yeah sure the treasury buffer pool blah blah, blah but it's other people's money okay so i'd rather do this in something like trading now of course i'm not saying that that's it because none of none of these figures are consistent i will be forever most probably this will drop at some point in time but you know it's happening now so they also released the certificates of, of the company's reg registration sorry because they did say that they will do so they did they did say that will they will register summit as a company i'll quickly show you this shortly so they have the uh the certificates already out which is cool so they put it in their ceo's name so there's a lady behind this so she's kyc etc etc the tvl growth is also one thing that is to look at because it's very slow and i think that's a positive thing because if you grow quickly in a short period of time you don't know what to do with that money and then you get lost you know pressure mounts and then you might fuck up excuse the term but that's what uh, we've been seeing right like i don't think many people in this world can handle millions of dollars within their grasp especially if it's not their money so let's keep an eye on this and like i said they do post a lot of updates on their trading pairs in, in the forex market and they do have specific pairs that they always tend to follow namely euro usd gp usd and usd cad cad is uh, canadian dollar so overall i think in regards to what has been happening so far there hasn't been a single hiccup now granted uh in regards to that whole niche there will always be um taking things with a grain of salt you, you always have to be reserved but at the end of the day you know you're the one who's gonna make the decision based on what you're saying now i don't care about uh daily percentages or weekly percentages and profits i think what is most important here is that they keep up what, with what they're doing so they stay true to their word they stay true to their mission between quotation mark and they keep delivering even if it's 0.1 percent per day i don't really mind as long as this stays and this keeps going and i think that's the most important thing and that's what people people are looking for all right and again if you think they're doing you a service they're not they're not doing this for uh for free all right so they're taking a fee so the more they make money the more you make money you know it's a trade-off at the end of the day there are no um what's the word here yeah there are no free handouts it's a service and you're taking advantage of it and they are as well and i think i'm gonna end it here like i said uh, check out this video check out the previous one and then you can go on the telegram and then inspect it so on and so forth and then you can make up your mind if you choose to jump into this i'm not that i'm not gonna ramble more than this i'm just gonna finalize this by saying that if you haven't joined our community do so lots of cool people lots of cool things lots of cool announcements that are happening there always a friendly chat always a respectful chat and with that see you in the next one have a good one